all right so i just want to get on here real quick and uh give you guys like a little like updated thing uh with like um a little more information and then maybe like a useful trick for you guys that uh i've been using uh i'm gonna make this super short because i don't i don't want to sit in cap cut and cut this up for a while but um just before i start with things real quick i really i'm not just hopping on like a view train or anything i'm not trying to get my fair share of uh venues doing this i just want to you know give you guys some extra information about the things that um you know it's doing so starting with this uh our actual device manager um if you disable the device this isn't necessarily doing anything if you accidentally forget that it's on and you know you go into a different game like you're not going to see any visual artifacts like it's not like for any application you're not going to see any anything crazy so unless it's like something that's like actually requiring you know all that i mean in general i would uh keep it on enabled if you aren't doing anything that doesn't require changing it so like if you're not using stretch resolution or anything don't change it but you know if you are then it's fine if you keep it disabled I actually didn't want to do this method at first because you had to disable it, but you know I eventually figured out that it's not a big deal if you disable it. Secondly, the little trick, um, you don't like. I know all the other tutorials. This is mainly why I'm making this video. They tell you that you need to come to your device manager, you need to disable it, come back in the game, and then you got to restart Valorant completely. You don't actually have to do this. You can do everything in the game. So, and this is a real time saver because if you're like me you forget to do all this like before you boot the game up and you're in a game or you're already booting in and you're like oh my god i forgot to do my stretch resolution and then you start playing like crap and stuff well uh good news you don't actually need to uh close out of valorant you can actually just disable the uh driver and then you can um come to your manager nvidia control panel whatever you could go to your resolution i just use this set resolution because you know i don't really I don't want to play like this it's kind of you know it's kind of weird for me but um you know you can pick any of these resolutions i like to play this one because it makes everyone a little bit bigger and it's not like super crazy but you can see that you know it's working and i haven't closed the game or anything it's just you know you don't need to close out a power which again is like a really big time uh server so it makes it just a tad bit bigger and that's what i really like about it so i hope this little trick like helps you guys and you're not like waiting to for the game to be over or, you know you're not playing without it because you know i did that a few times and i you know it kind of screwed me up so especially when you jump straight into like a comp game or something